Welcome back to my stand-up channel. Boris Johnson admitted that hospitalizations and deaths will rise as restrictions lift as government scientists warned the link between cases and hospital admissions has not been broken. Daily deaths from COVID could hit 100 to 200 at the peak of a third wave, with up to 2,000 hospitalizations per day, government scientists believe. Central estimates from modelers advising government show that step 4 of the roadmap for England and the wave of infection could be associated with 1,000 or more hospital admissions per day at the peak, with an estimate of 1,000 to 2,000 per day. Deaths are expected to be between 100 and 200 per day at the peak of the wave, though there is a large amount of uncertainty in the modeling. The advisors also said the peak in deaths will, almost certainly be considerably smaller than that of January 2021, and is unlikely to come before mid-August. It comes as Health Secretary Sajid Javid confirmed that most of England's remaining lockdown rules will be lifted on July 19 but hopes of a complete return to normality have been scuppered by the spread of Delta variant. He acknowledged to MPs that cases could exceed 100 00 per day this summer but expressed confidence in the vaccine wall. Boris Johnson admitted that hospitalizations and deaths were going to rise as restrictions lift at a Downing Street press conference on Monday. Asked by the Mirror if 100-200 deaths a day was a price you are willing to pay for freedom, he said. There isn't an optimal time but I think that the reality is that both deaths and hospitalizations are sadly going to rise whenever you go for an unlocking of the kind that we are. I think we simply must. As Chris, witty, puts it, there will be an exit wave and we simply have to recognize that. The PM struck a more cautious note at the briefing on so-called Freedom Day. Warning, this pandemic is not over, and people could not expect to revert to life as it was before COVID next week. He also said he, hoped the roadmap is irreversible, in a marked change in tone from his earlier comments. Instead, Mr. Johnson said the public needed to exercise, extreme caution, and, personal responsibility, when the remaining lockdown rules lift on July 19. We've come to a stage in the pandemic when there is no easy answer and no obvious date for unlocking, he said. The summer holidays provided a natural firebreak, as children won't be in school but he still urged people to move slowly back to normal life. He said. It is absolutely vital that we proceed now with caution and I cannot say this powerfully or emphatically enough. This pandemic is not over. This disease, coronavirus, continues to carry risks for you and your family. We cannot simply revert instantly from Monday July 19 to life as it was before COVID. We will stick to our plan to lift legal restrictions and to lift social distancing. But we expect and recommend that people wear a face covering in crowded and enclosed spaces where you come into contact with those you don't normally meet. Such as on public transport. The PM also refused to rule out bringing back tougher restrictions if necessary. England's chief medical officer Professor Chris Whitty said experts were cautious in interpreting the data around the risk to the NHS. But he said there was no clear evidence that a delay to reopening now would make a difference, instead urging people to go slowly. From next week, legal limits on social contact will be scrapped, including face masks, social distancing and working from home guidance. There will be no restrictions on the number of people who can meet indoors or outdoors and shuttered industries like nightclubs can reopen. But guidance will be in place advising masks continue to be worn in crowded spaces, and vaccine passports are expected to be used widely. Documents setting out rules for workplaces and the clinically extremely vulnerable are also expected to be published, as ministers seek to shift responsibility onto the public. A paper by the government's SPIM group, which models the spread of the virus, said the impact of July 19th lockdown lifting was highly uncertain. It said, any modeled scenarios show a peak in hospital admissions well below that of January 2021. 
but SPIMO cannot rule out a wave of a similar or even larger scale. Small changes in vaccine uptake or the efficacy of the jab could make a big difference in the spread of the virus, as well as how cautious the public are in returning to pre-pandemic habits. The paper said, if behaviors take longer to return to pre-pandemic levels, and, or if the seasonal effect of transmission is higher, then the peak of the summer resurgence is likely to be lower. This would result in a wave that is broader, or partially shifted to autumn and winter. Government scientists say that while the link between cases and hospital admissions is weakened due to vaccines, it has not been broken. A newly released document from July 7 from the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies, SAGE, found, all modeled scenarios show a period of extremely high prevalence of infection lasting until at least the end of August. There is high uncertainty around both the scale of the peak in prevalence and in the number of confirmed cases that this would correspond to. Under pessimistic assumptions, some modeling scenarios show a resurgence of cases on the same scale or larger than the peak seen in January. But SAGE has concluded, it is almost certain that the peak in deaths will be well below the levels seen in January 2021 due to the impact of vaccination, assuming that no new dominant variant emerges. It said that while introducing further delays to the roadmap, could have some additional positive impact by allowing more people to be vaccinated. The effect of this would be much smaller than the effect of the current delay and it would push the wave further towards the autumn and winter. Experts are worried that pushing the peak of the wave into cooler months would hit the NHS at a time when it is already under pressure. Source. Mirror.co.uk Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.